trying to define uh, a connection between quantum logic and quantum computing. But in fact, quantum logic was defined uh, before quantum computing, so it, it is really hard to, to make that connection. Okay. Um, well, there are several words in that, in that uh, direction. But, well, uh, there is a need for uh, quantum logic okay, to uh, be able to reason in, uh, about quantum algorithms in general. Um, in computer science, usually uh, reasoning behind a problem can be made uh, to arise from, from the study of uh, type systems. So our idea was, instead of uh, trying to look at the quantum logic and make the connection with quantum computing, trying to look at the quantum computing and define a new quantum logic from the type system. Okay? So, so, well, this is just a first step in that direction. This is uh, not concluded. But um, in, this, in this world, we define a, a type system um, for a lambda calculus, for a, a lambda calculus that can represent some quantum problems. Um, uh, this is we are just in the intermediate step to have the, the proper quantum logic. So, as I say, this is just a first step. So, we are working with the linear Schleich calculus defined by uh, Paula Rigi and Schiff uh, which is a um, well, lambda calculus with high order computation plus linear Schleich operations. So it has a better resolution with some, some restriction that is not important now, but it is to avoid plumbing, but uh, it is what is uh, better. And uh, well, there are 17 rules for the linear Schleich of operations uh, with some restrictions. Uh, here, uh, well, they ask for close normal terms in, in general. Why these restrictions? Well, this is an entire calculus plus linear algebra. So um, here we have a concept of infinity. Uh, in this sense, we can find a fixed point uh, like this. So we have the infinity uh, writing in that way. So this yb uh, computes to d plus b plus b plus b. Uh, so, if we have infinity, we have infinite forms. Like, infinity means infinity, okay, in which if we allow to reduce that to zero, we have a continuous problem, okay. Uh, and that is just because of the factorization rules. We are trying to apply the factorization rules to infinity terms. So, what they say in the the calculus is well, they have to restrict the the factorization rules and a lot of other rules to close normal forms because it's the only way to prove that it is uh, infinite, doesn't become infinite. So let's start with the uh, with the type system. Well, first. This is a straightforward state extension for the system F. Uh, we shall state the system F and add the needed rules to give types to the extra uh, term. To zero, we, we give whatever type, addition, and scalar. So, with this uh, very simple extension, we can prove strong normalization here uh, just by extending, extending the uh, but, well, now, this uh, linear Schleich on the calculus with this uh, type system, uh, here we know that every people, people term is normalizing because we put that. So, yb is not typable, so we, we don't have any more infinities, so we don't need the all the restrictions 
checking those numbers because we know that this is not uh, an infinity. So, well, this is a, just a simplification of the language. Now, the type system we define here is the equal scalar type system. This is just system F. Well, this is the, the grammar. We have just these alphas and uh, a time for the for the vector zero, which is equivalent to zero times. is the, the gamma. So what we, we did, this is the, just the rules for system F. So we have some, some scalars there. We, we work in uh, well, the type system for, for this calculus with this gamma scalars. And also the, the previous other uh, rules with some changes to manage. So this is the, the world type system. Then again here we, we go to number section, so how we did it, we we make a map between the types in this star of the system and the extension of the system F. The, the types, so a map from the types to from the star of the system to the, the types of the extension of the system F. And um, well, this is some notation. We say the map for a, a complex is, is just the map for each of the types, and the map for a bottom is another type. And what this may, uh, map uh, does is just to remove all the stars. Okay. So we can prove this correspondence. So in in the scalar type system, we, have, if we prove that a term t uh, has a type t, we can prove uh, that this term has the, the matter uh, in the, the, stand, the single extension of the system. So, uh, well, this is uh, the formalization is proved by like that because if we have a type. Uh, then uh, we have the map uh, type, then uh, we know that this is normalizing. So we keep the result of the normalizing of this type system. We also prove such a reduction, which, well, there are a lot of lemmas because we have uh, 17 rules for the linear like, uh, reduction rules for the linear like part the beta reduction rules and all the AC rules, so we have to prove for everyone, so it's quite technical, but it is just that. It's just to prove that the type system is well fine. So, now, well, up, to, up to here is to uh, define the type system. Now, we will try to look what, what this type system means. So, uh, it behaves like a, you can say, a probabilistic in the calculus, a probabilistic type system. So, if we, if we have the conditional functions, we need that in each branch they uh, have the same type. So, here it means it has the same scalar also. Uh, so, if we restrict the scalar to positive layers, uh, this can be seen as a probabilistic type system in this sense. Uh, assistance in this function is well tied in the system. So, uh, as I said, we need each branch uh, with the same, the same scalar. So, this type system guarantees that uh, the, the, pro the function conserves the probability. As I say, this is a first step, so up to now we, we have a probabilistic type system, not a quantum type system. Okay. Well, uh, now, well, in the paper we wrote uh, several uh, discussions in, in the logical content of this, but I think this is one of the, the nicer. Uh, the neural 
in theory, how it can be written in this system, in this logic. Well, uh, that thing in well, a, a big pipe, like a function, well, it's not a function, something like that, that takes a second and it gives you a, a, a world proof, okay? A, a, all the proof grid. So, the, the idea is, it's like an, an MP3 and you put the, the second there and you complete all the field. So in that sense, we can, we can prove a theorem which says that there is no this kind of function which for whatever a we put here, whatever second, it gives give us a, a copy in one sense. Okay? So it's, it's like thinking in the file like a universal machine, okay? and all the proof is our machine. Cannot clone. So the uh, document theorem is written in this way. Uh, I, well, there is no universal proof tree for whatever. In fact, what happens here is that the scalars are the, the, the entities that cannot be copied. The scalars, in, uh, to, to do the proof, to copy the scalar two times, we need to have the scalar fits in the, in the proof tree, so that is why it is wrong. So, conclusions. Well, uh, this scalar tree system is just like a probabilistic type system, like the probabilistic function should be well defined. Uh, the strong normalization theorem uh, allows to uh, remove most of the frictions. Rules. And well, the not really theory give us a thinking in, in terms of machine rather than uh, resources like the linear logic. Okay, here we were thinking in some, in some way in machines. Okay, so it's, there is no universal machine. Um, well, as I said before, this is the first. So uh, this scalar type system is dealing with magnitude of things for type vectors. Um, we want to think in uh, vectorial space of types. So the future type system will we will try to handle uh, directions. So we need to put additions and orthogonality checks between types. Um, when we have that, we we will be able to, to think in amplitudes rather than probabilities. So that is the direction we want. Questions? Okay. So is it true that the uh, derivative sequence in your type system are exactly the same as the Sort of ordinary derived, you know, deterministic derived sequences plus one scale. Sorry, sorry, uh, pardon, uh, again? Every, is it true that every derived, I thought it was a lemma somewhere in your paper that, that every derivable uh, sequence is just some scalar times a uh, yeah. classically derivably one, right? Uh, yes. So, so why not just make a simpler system where you just annotate the derivability relation with the, with the scalars? No, I, 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 I don't have any questions. Um, I'll ask you maybe afterwards. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> is, no, 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 it's, it's, is there, ask um, me uh, again because I didn't understand it. Well, I, I need to find the lemma again so that I can ask you the question properly. Uh, but I have another question. So, um, how, how is this going to work for... You said you were going to extend, you're planning, hopefully, extending this to a quantum system where you use quantum yeah, well, tools. Uh, right now, we have just the scalars, okay? The yeah. idea is, uh, well, we already have that, is to, uh, to put additions in the types, so we can, in some way, represent vectors in the type system, okay? Mm -hmm. 
So then we have to restrict uh, which vectors we, we, we can represent because we, we want to represent just normalized vectors and we have to check the uh, orthogonality of, of terms to, to, can, to be able to calculate, to calculate the, the norm of the vector. Yes, that's what you have to do, but it's, it's not clear how you're going to do this, right? You, you yeah, well, that is the important work right now. We are working that, but uh, if you have time, I can show you what we are doing. Sure. Uh, but yeah, but, uh, yeah, this is just the first, the, the beginning, okay? It's to add scalars, the next uh, step was to add addition, to put addition in the terms. So the next step was to put addition and scalars. And now we are working with uh, how to check orthogonality, mm -hmm. which is not trivial because. No. But uh, well, we are working exactly in that right now. Uh, how to check orthogonality to be able to uh, to put restrictions in the type system to allow just uh, normalized terms and also uh, unitary transforms, uh, so transformation, so we are working in that. This is just the beginning. Are you planning to put the proof maps in linear logic, say, of Gregorian calculus down to the compact, if it's compact, compact type? Uh, Because in quantum, they are all compact spaces, so it's, logic is compact. Well, we are not working with Catheon. Compact means you get rid of uh, every higher order except for the two. You don't have to go about the order two. But compact means in your numbers. Mm -hmm. You don't have to make those long blocks to yeah. improve no, So no. a local one still gets transmitted. That's the main idea. Compactness does. Yes. <laughs> be careful with, with when you add yeah. compactness, you will see something happens. So, so I have a third comment. I'm very sorry. Um, uh, so, so Benoit Valeran just pointed out to me yesterday that uh, uh, checking in a type system orthogonality is an NP-complete problem because if you can do that, well, you can you can do satisfiability. We are discussing a lot so, of <laughs> but yes. you're not the first ones to try to make an, a type system for orthogonality. So, so I think Ratich and Alton tried to do that too, right? And, more or less, you are into the same. Yeah, but uh, of course I am familiar with the uh, I don't mean to embarrass you, but uh, is, is, that, is that true? Is it true I tried? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, yes, uh, right now, well, first of all, we changed the, this. Uh, we were working in Curly style, um, and now we are working in Charge style because we can distinguish uh, terms better with charge style. So, uh, up to now, we, we don't really have a proof, but kind of, uh, proof that uh, we can check if two terms are orthogonalities with the types, uh, but we cannot check if they are not, not orthogonalities. Uh, so, we have a one-way direction. If the types are orthogonal, we, we can say, okay, the terms are orthogonal, but uh, we are dealing with the other direction. So maybe you solve the co and p and complete problem. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. <laughs> yeah. Thank okay, thanks, Peter. Yeah.